What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Esther Shanae, and welcome back to In The Know for more day-to-day -day drama and gossip. First up, y'all, we have Princess and Ray J, and they finally got married, and it looks like they had a very beautiful ceremony. Like I said, y'all, the wedding looks absolutely beautiful. No shade from us at all. We refuse to be shaded because we know for a fact that now that they're married, Ray J will never push her in the pool again. And we also know that since they're married, Princess will never, ever put her hands in Ray J's face again. Never. Child, I'm telling you now, the sanctity of their marriage will prevent Ray J from bringing strippers home to their house again. And it will also prevent him from cheating on her with Tiara Marie again see like i said absolutely no shade from us we just want to wish these two unending happiness and understanding just because the beginning of their relationship was unstable does not mean that's how their marriage will be honestly and speaking of unstable beginnings child did y'all remember when adrian bala was caught on vacation with then mary israel holton well i certainly do never forget well he's divorced now i wonder why and engaged to none other than guess who Adrian Ballon. Now, child, ain't that a cool wiki dink? Take a look. Child, so apparently they got engaged in Paris in front of the Eiffel Tower. Now, I ain't gonna lie, that made me a little jealous. So I'm about to rub me some fish grease on my cluster ring and go outside and hold it up against the lights in the project so it can glitter just like that. <laughs> Child, I'm just playing. No, I'm not. Despite the wretchedness of how these two got together, we are still happy for them. And of course, these two seem to be very happy themselves. Israel posted this to Adrian on his Instagram. He says, I have seen and felt the essence of God's grace through the life, the kindness, and the courage of this woman. I've seen her attacked, lied about, wrongfully accused, mocked, laughed at, and misunderstood. Well, I hate to break it to you, Mr. Israel. Now, I'm just guessing here, but I think the reason y'all got so much hate is the fact that you are a gospel artist. And not only that, child, you were the worship leader at Joel Osteen's mega church. And not to be picky, but you were caught cheating on your wife with Adrian on vacation. So, that's probably why y'all got so much hate and backlash. But anyway, congratulations on y'all's engagement. Mm -hmm. Cha. Okay, so do y'all remember me telling y'all about Alexis guy, one of Fetty Wap's girlfriend that got mad because he took his children on a trip to LA? And y'all remember when I told y'all she gets extra dramatic and threatens to leave Fetty Wap anytime he goes and spend time with his kids? Well, if you don't remember, let me give you a little refresher. Take a look. Ain't nobody gonna stop me no more. Not no nigga, not no bitch. I ain't, I'm done. Like, I never wanted to stop dancing in the first place. Like, I stopped my whole life for this nigga, and it was the biggest mistake I ever made in my life, and I regret it. Actually, I don't regret it. I'm blessed, because I opened new doors for me, but never stop your life from nobody, because I was making so much money on my own, independent. Well, she always makes these kind of videos threatening to leave Fetty. And I ain't gonna lie, usually he comes running right back to her, but this time, he did not. This time, after leaving his kids, he went straight to Yaya, and Alexis had to come up with a new idea to get Fetty's attention. So what did she do? She went and wrecked Fetty Watt's expensive car, of course. Child, take a look. Because I cannot walk. I know y'all don't want to see my big fat ass knee. It looks disgusting. Huh? Yeah. I'm gonna show you. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna show you. Hold on. Oh, 
Tiktok. So, child, she did all that to get Fetty Watt's attention and make him come back home. But as I said before, he did not. He stayed right where he was and took Yaya shopping at the mall like he always does. So, basically, you thought your spot in the Sister Wise Club was about to be cut, so you did something crazy to get Fetty Watt's attention. You put your whole life in danger and it still didn't work. Now, I want y'all to look at this car, y'all. She claimed somebody hit her from the back real hard and made her run into the car in front of her. But look at this car. Where is all the damage at? Now, child, unless your name is Fetty Watt, you can look at this car and clearly tell she was lying about what happened and on top of that when everybody figured out she was lying about what happened Fetty Watt's baby mama led through some major shade at Alexis I told y'all she's always trying to beat her up now I want y'all to pay close attention to the lyrics in this song that she's singing take a look Man, did y'all catch that shade? Now, I knew Les was a little bit rough around the edges, but I ain't know she was that rough. But I'm pretty sure she's still in love with Fetty, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. And child, speaking of one-hit wonders, OG Mako has been walking around here lately looking like a skinny version of Sleek Reek. So you already know everybody and their mama on social media was going in on him, okay? So he was trying to explain to everybody that he got into a car wreck and as a result of his injuries, he lost his eye. But of course, nobody believed him, so he had to end up posting a picture without the eye patch. And it turns out that he was telling the truth. He got so mad at everybody that he posted this caption with his picture. Y'all bastards had all these jokes like I really didn't lose an eye real quick. I don't mind. Just remember I never did a thing to you. To see a world where the doers and the dreamers are ridiculed more than losers in conformity is worse than losing an eye. Cha, now I don't know about all that, but still. Child. And y'all, Kevin Hart got married tonight, and I cannot express to y'all how much I love, 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 love these wedding photos. I absolutely love the way he has his kids out front in the photo. Not only is the picture beautiful, but it lets Kevin's kids know that they will not be left out of his new marriage. He's always seen to be a pretty good dad, so I wouldn't expect anything less from him. And speaking of dads, Ludacris made a video with his wife, Eucalyptus Leaves, right before he went to Kevin Hart's wedding. The video is pretty cute, so just take a look. I mean, you know, look at me. I'm I mean, I'm looking extra sharp. I, I've been pimping since pimping since pimping. You know what I mean? Baby, huh? I'm married. I'm married. Oh yeah. Now, like I said, the video is cute and all, but I have a question. Where is his baby that he cheated on you and had with another lady? Now, you know what baby I'm talking about. The baby that you snatched from his baby mama. The baby that you wanted so badly because you two didn't have a baby together. But as soon as you got pregnant with his child, I haven't seen that poor baby since. And speaking of babies, T.I. is just adorable when he gets around his new beautiful baby, Eris. But pay attention to how his voice changes when one of his sons comes in the room. Take a look. Well, since we're on the subject of babies, Chief Keith's baby mama, you know the one that was messing around with Waka Flocka, finally had her baby. And child Tommy, Moniz, and Masika have started hanging together. So y'all already know to be looking for something from them very soon. Not like a show or nothing though. I mean like a big fight, a shootout, some body bags, something in that area. Cause child, if you know anything about these three here, then you already know this friendship ain't gonna work out. And speaking of friendships, this is Cat Stacks and her friends. Friend Taylor, who I'm pretty sure used to date her ex, but I can't prove it so. Well, apparently Taylor is now dating Life Jennings. And thanks to Cat Stacks, the whole world knows about it now. Cat Stacks posts this to her Instagram. Not the girl, but Cat Stacks. She says, Sorry, Carly, baby mothers and groupies, but Life Jennings is taken by Is Fela, one of my best friends. As you can see, the sky is the limit. They're on a private jet. He also got her a house and a puppy. Child, Cat Stacks, if you don't go sit your prostituting now i want to remind y'all that everything that i'm showing y'all now is what cat posted to her page
page. Not the girl, but Kat. He even went so far as to thank Life Genus for the puppy that he bought her friend. But I have just one question. Why? Why in the world do you feel the need to thank a man for a present that he didn't even buy for you? Now let me be clear. I'm not saying she can't be happy for her friend, but I'm just saying this seems a tad bit weird. But y'all, anyway, I just can't right now. So I'm definitely going to need you guys' opinions in this situation because y'all know I don't get in other people's business like that. Mm -hmm. Well, we're about to be out of here, but before we go, we want you guys to leave us a like. And remember to subscribe to our channel for the juiciest gossip commentary around. And don't be shy. Leave us your opinions in the comments. Good, bad, or indifferent. I love them all. And with that being said, you guys, we are out of here.